Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, JC, and welcome back to my channel once again. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to get the gas mask in Zetsobu no Shima. It's actually pretty simple, just like the other tutorials. You're just going to have to know where the parts are. Now, just like the other buildables, there are three different parts on the map. One of them is over here in the plain junkyard, that's what I like to call it anyways. And basically just around this area, you're gonna see some wiring of some sort, and that's your first part. We found it over here on the rocks, but it could be near the plane, around the plane yeah, some. Sure. We're not totally we'll sure because we haven't played the map enough to get all known locations, but we've seen it spawn in a couple of different areas around here. It's always in this area for the most part, as it seems, and that's your first part. The second part is actually near the 115 meteorite that's very reminiscent of Shinonuma for sure. And for us, it was basically on these crates right next to the meteorite, but it could also be on the catwalk of this area near the railings. We've seen it spawn there before, and we've also seen it spawn here on this crate right near the meteorite. Now, the final part is very easy to find. You gotta go to the power room, then go to the docks right outside where the zip line is, and it's just sitting right here, right for you, and that's it. You have now found all three pieces for the gas mask. Now go ahead and find a workbench somewhere, craft the gas mask, and now you are immune to many of the spores on the map. But don't worry, the game lets you know how much you have left in your gas mask, and just overall it's very, very useful, especially for all those spore traps that are found around the map. This has been me, JC. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to get the gas mask, and I will see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.